welcome back to my youtube channel now in this video i'm going to show you how to create and use vps for a long period of time um this vps usually gonna cut within a year but you have the chance to recreate another vps after a year or mostly after 10 months vps is a virtual private server that allows a trader to be able to access the um, forex market in a virtual environment using a virtual pc and the advantages of vps over the normal pc or the normal computer is that vps runs 24 hours uninterrupted now without wasting much time let's get to it now the first thing you are going to do is to go to google and then type aws vps so when once you type that you're going to have um this right here let's click the first link so go to my account you don't have an account so um, so you say you do not have AWS account I'm going to create you're going to click on create a new AWS account so once you get here you're going to enter your email this one you can just create any email just for this purpose okay so that you'll be able to receive verification the email and then your other details that you're going to add in this process does not really have to correspond and so this is an email that i created recently and then i could just type so now they are going to send you a verification code to your email so your email has been verified so now you need to just put a password there like that so continue So then we enter the billing information this is the most important aspect of creating an aws account okay this is the most important aspect so if you enter the wrong card details it is not going to work though there are not going to be any deductions on the card but make sure that you don't have any money on the card or you have maybe just one dollar on the card so at the point of creating this video i went to my bank the this particular bank that i don't save there i don't have any money there and i told them that i lost my card and so they gave me a new card and then that's the card that i'm going to use i'm going to fill over here to be able to verify my card details
so I, I am going to save this card like this and then um, I need to confirm my identity and so we have X M six four W F okay. as I'm speaking with you right now, I've received a code on my phone and then um, that's what I'm gonna use for this process. You don't have to select any of this because it means that you're going to be charged. Um, so here you're going to be charged $29 at least every month. And here you're going to cha be charged at least $100 every month. So here you're going to actually select just the basic support all free. And then you click on um, complete sign up. So once you see congratulations, it means that you've passed. Um, in other cases, you may have problem with your card and when you have problem with your card you're not going to get this congratulations so make sure that you get a right card for this process and once the card expires after about eight to ten months you're going to go to the bank tell the bank that you lost your card we create a new card and use the card to come and create a new aws account and then you can get your vps so now that we are in we can go and then create our vps assets. sign in to console So as you can see, I am signed into my console and so um, I'm going to come here and the first thing is I'm going to change my region. So I'm going to change the region to Asia Pacific Mumbai. So once you are done, you go to services then you go to all services. Then you start to search. You can also search here in the search box. You are going to search EC2. So this is a service that I, you know, it's already even in my recently used services because that's what I usually use. So EC2. And then let me even start this thing over here. Then you click on it. So once you are here, you're going to click on launch instance, launch instance, then you're going to come here, the quick starts under the quick starts, you're just, you're, you're not going to write anything here. You're not going to do anything. You just come straight to the quick start, the quick start, you're going to click here on windows. And once you click on it like that, you're going to select the Amazon machine image that you want do not select 2022 uh, because it's going to be slow go down and then select 2019 base or come here and then select 2016 base so once i select it and now uh, yeah so now I've selected the amazon machine image and then um the provider here is verified and that is it So now you are going to um, come down here to the key pair and then you are going to click on create new key pair. Once you click on it like this, yes, you're going to be selecting R, S, A and then make sure that here is on PEM instead of .ppk. So the file format should be PEM. Then you enter a name, any name at all. So we can say, um, you can say, macho effects just like that then you create you click on so you can see macho effects just like that then you click on create key pair and then the key pair will be downloaded right here like that and then um once you are done you are going to click on launch instance and then um it is now creating the instances and so that is it right here um so you're going to click on view all instances 
so this is the instance that you have created it's going to be showing at the top here like this so you're going to select the instance that you've created and these are the details of the instance you have created okay these are the details and the state of the instance now is on pending so you're going to wait for a while until everything is set then we're going to continue from there okay so now you see that the status of the instance has changed to running so once you see that it has changed to running you're going to come here you've this is the instance now when you unselect it you see that we do not have anything here then you come back you select it like this so that is the instance and it is already in a state of running it means that your vps is set and it's working but we need to know how to go um obtain information and then come and open the vps or the virtual machine on our pc or on the phone so that is it now you come to actions then you select um security then you say get windows password since it's a windows machine we are using you click on get windows password and then yes it says the password is not available and then we need to wait four minutes after launching an instance before trying to receive or to generate password and so we are going to wait for four minutes and so i think four minutes is up now and so i'm going to refresh this page like that yeah and so um you will see here that the key pair is associated with this instance which is the macho fx the instance that you created so what you're going to do now is to upload the key pair so you come here to upload private key then you go to downloads this is the key pair so you click it and that is it so you see decrypt the password and so now this is the password that you're going to use to um, launch your vps and so you are going to have to take note of this password i can come here open let's open the notes pad it is a new window and then i'm going to write here as macho fx vps vps and then i'll say this is a password This is the password here. And then I take note. And then you need to cancel here. And then um, you select the instance again like that. And this is the private IP address that you need. And so this, you're not going to need it. You're going to click here on the private IP address. And then we copy it so here you see ip so this is the ip and then And so you see that the username here is administrator and so that is why i've written here the name as administrator and so let me put the user here like that so username is administrator and that is it so that is the information that you're going to be able to um use to log in into your vps that you've created and so you can save this file you can save this file anywhere but um let me save it in the downloads so that is it so i can close this window and that's it so now um it's now time to log into the remote desktop search remote remote and then it's going to come here as remote desktop connection and you click on it like that so now i'm just going to come here and then i'm going to come to edit and then um, more choices you say use a different account so the username the username 
come to download it's here so the username is administrator so copy then let's come here then the password the password is this you copy and you paste and then you click on ok then you're going to change the IP address you change the IP address to this IP address and then that is it you can retype the username as administrator administrator that is it so let me click on connect it's asking for password again and so i am going to just copy this password here like this i'm just going to copy this password here like this copy and then paste and that's it okay so i'm going to click on don't ask me again yes And then congratulations, you've created um, a virtual machine and then you successfully logged in on your PC. Now, um, you can also log in on your phone. So in the next session, I'm going to show you how you are going to uh, log in the VPS on your mobile device. So that is it. Now, this is the VPS. When you put everything off. No, the thing is that you do not have to put off the virtual machine from here. Let me click on start. You see there is a power off here. Never turn this power thing off. The only thing that you can do if you want to exit the VPS is to click on this close sign and you have closed the VPS. Because once you turn the VPS, you turn off the VPS inside the VPS. Okay, when you turn it off like this, it means you've damaged the private machine that you've created so you need to create another one and so you can just click on this and then you're going to exit now um stay with me i'm going to use uh the login that we had here to to log into the vps on my mobile device and then we can continue from there